come to your academy where learning becomes much much easier in this video i'm going to teach you polar forms of complex numbers so i'm dealing with um, complex number in this one z equal to x plus i y the other forms we can represent complex number one of the way is through the polar forms in this video we'll be seeing how to convert from this form to a polar form We're representing this on an angle diagram we've done that before we have the real part which is x will be on the x axis and the imaginary part which is y will be on the y axis suppose we have a point z we have this point z this complex number represented on the angle diagram and so we trace our y and x to it we have from the origin we have a resultant and we see this resultant is r so now this will be inclined at an angle suppose we have this of course this is a complex number on an angle diagram now our r from what we can see here from the usual um, pythagoras theory we can, we can see to get the value of our r served as the hypotenuse here it gives us square root of so r equal to square root of x square plus y squared r means the magnitude or the modulus of z so now looking at theta theta is also called argument and from this we can see theta is equal to the tan inverse of y over x if you find theta i don't go much into that and theta equal to opposite which is y over adjacent which is x so making theta several formula we have tan inverse theta equal tan inverse of y by x so this r stands as the magnitude of z or the modulus of z we've been given this complex number to translate in its polar form mind you polar form is written as r and we have our theta here this is the form this is the polar form of a complex number so from what we've done earlier we'll look for our r and then we'll look for theta how do we get our r we remember r is equal to the square root of x square plus y square and our x signifies the real part which is 3 then our y signifies the imaginary part which is 4 so now r is going to be equal to square root of 3 square plus 4 square which is equal to square root of 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16 which is equal to 9 plus 16 25 square root of 25 our r is going to be equal to 5 so we've gotten our r the next thing is to look for theta from what we've done is we have seen that theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x tan inverse of y over x so now our theta becomes tan inverse of the imaginary part y which is 4 over the imaginary part x which is 3 tan inverse of 4 over 3 is 53.13 degrees so we've gotten our theta now that we've gotten our theta we to represent it in its polar form so our r is 5 5 and our theta is 53 point one three degrees so we've achieved so we have represented this complex number z equal to three plus four i into a polar form up next we'll be learning how we can convert from a polar form to a rectangular form so if we have four and thirty degrees we'll be asked to convert this from a polar form to a rectangular form. Once we be able to solve that question, we will have to come back to this. Looking at this angle and diagram, which we have done earlier in this video, R is the magnitude. We resolve this R into its horizontal and vertical components. We we'll have into its horizontal component. We we'll have x is equal to R cos theta. The vertical component. We we'll have y is equal to R sin theta. Now have y equal to sine r sine theta substituting the value of x substituting the value of our x and our y into this we have z equal to 
our x is what r cos theta plus our y is r sin theta so that's how we got this say so equal to this the value of our x which is this plus i the value of our y which is this so we can factor out r on factor out r we'll be left with cos theta plus i sin theta so this becomes the rectangular form so going back to the question we have 4 and 30 degrees so now from looking at this comparing with our polar formula we have r to theta degrees it means our r is equal to 4 and then theta is equal to 30 degrees so our z converting to rectangular form remember is r cos theta plus i r sine theta i know this might be confusing so we can factor it out factor r out to be r cos theta plus i sine theta so i guess this will be way much easier so to get a z equal to we've well, gotten our r to be 4 4 in brackets cos our theta is what 30 plus i sine theta again which is i sine theta which is 30 degrees so our z will be equal to 4 in bracket cos 30 is 0 0.866 plus i sine 30 is 0 0.5 our z becomes 4 times 0 0.866 which is 3.464 plus 4 times 0 0.5 i it becomes 2 i in next video i'll be telling you how you can use the complex form and rectangular form to either add subtract multiply or divide if you are here to subscribe make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tutorials so when new videos and on this series is uploaded you get notified